Welcome back design students. In this video we're going to put a label on our wine bottle. And this is a multi-step process involving Photoshop and some UVW mapping because we have to make sure that the label ends up in the correct position. So let's get started. So here's my still life scene with a wine bottle that has no label. And I'm going to select the bottle and the lights and the backdrop. And then I'm going to hide everything else. So I'm going to right click and select hide unselected because we just need to concentrate on this. And I really don't need the backdrop of the lights at the moment. So we might as well hide those too. So the first thing we need to do is apply some UVW mapping to our bottle. And we need to generate something called a UV template that we can then take into Photoshop and make sure our label is in the right place. And in order to do that we need to uh, collapse everything on our bottle. It just makes it cleaner. So what I like to do here is save a copy of my scene. And you can do that by simply clicking this plus sign in the Save As menu. And that now created Still Life 02 here. And then I'm going to right click and convert my bottle to an editable poly. And then let's turn on Edged Faces so we can see the geometry of the bottle. And my label is going to go right here. So I need to select those polygons. So I'm going to click on one polygon there. And then I'm going to hold down control and double click on the one next to it. And then we're going to apply UVW mapping to these polygons. But we're going to do it using something called UVW Unwrap. So scroll down here and find UVW Unwrap or Unwrap UVW. And there's a lot to digest in here and I don't want to get into it, all of it, but there is a UV editor uh, which we're going to use in a minute and then there's also projection types just like in the UVW map modifier we've used before and a direction. This is going to be a cylindrical map so click cylindrical and then click fit and that fits it to the polygons we have selected and then look at it and make sure that it's in the right direction. And let's open up the UV editor and here is the UVs that we have unwrapped. Now we need to make sure that they are correct. We don't want our uh, label to be distorted. Typically when you unwrap UVs they'll just simply fill the entire texture shape here and they won't be the right shape that they should be. So to check that you need to pull down this menu here and select texture checker. And that's going to put a texture on this that we can then look at and check for distortion. And you can see here that the letters are distorted. And you can see that they are going in the right direction. Sometimes they might be backwards like that. And if they were, then we would flip it. But we don't need to do that. So what we need to do is scale this vertically. We do have a scale tool here. We have scale uniformly, we have scale horizontal, and we have scale vertical. Select scale vertical and hover over your window. And if you don't see anything happening, then you need to switch modes. Let's go down here and switch to vertex mode and then switch back to polygon mode. And there's our tool. Now this is a glitch in 3D Max. They haven't fixed it yet. I don't know why it does, does that, but each time, sometimes, each time you switch a tool here, at least in the beginning, you have to switch modes to make it work. So I'm going to pull this down a little bit until the letters are no longer distorted. That's too much. That looks about right. Then I'm going to switch to scale uniformly and scale them in just a little bit. And then I'm going to move this up to the top. Actually, you know what? I'm going to move it out. And now we have to do the rest of the bottle. So to do that, we need to close the editor for a minute, go to the top level of this, and then we need to add an Edit Poly modifier to the top of the stack. And we need to go to Polygon Mode, and these are the polygons that we did before, but we need to select everything else. So what we're going to do to do that is simply go to Edit, Select Invert, and that selects everything except the ones that we had selected before. And then we're going to add another 
unwrap UVW modifier to this. And we're going to open the UV editor. Now you can see this is just a giant mess here. So what we're going to do is use an automatic UV mapping tool. It's called Flatten Mapping. So just go into the Mapping Tools and select Flatten Mapping. It's going to give us some parameters. We just need to click OK. And it's going to split the bottle into a bunch of shapes. Now this is definitely not the way you would want to do it normally, but you'll see why we're doing it this way in a little bit. So let's select the Scale Uniform tool and scale those down really small and put them in the corner over here. And then let's close this. And we're going to put another Edit Poly at the top of the stack. And then we're going to put another Unwrap UVW at the top of the stack. Open the UV Editor. And that will give us all the UVs, including the ones we did previously. So um, come down here and click this, which will select the entire element based on polygons and move it into the texture area. And let's go ahead and scale this out uniformly just a little bit so it fills the texture area. And then we're going to generate our UV template. To do that, we need to go to Tools, Render UV Template and then just click Render UV Template. It's going to come out 1024 by 1024. And that's going to render the template that we can now bring into Photoshop to help us place our label. So let's go ahead and click Save, and then make sure you notice where it's going. Mine's going in my Scenes folder. I'm going to go up a level and put it in my Scene Assets Images folder, where I'm keeping all my textures and things. And I'm going to name this Bottle UVW and I'm going to save it as a JPEG. And then close this, close this, you can close the UV editor now, and finish with an edit poly at the top of the stack. And I know that was very quick, and we did it without a lot of explanation, but you'll see why we did it when we go to the next step. And that's in the next video, and I'll see you then.